Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I will compare eye contact and MailChimp. The first thing I'm going to compare are pricing plans, then I will look on main features and advantages and disadvantages I personally see. I'm not paid by eye contact or MailChimp to say one is better comparing to the other that you should use that or that. I'm just going to give you my honest perspective. So let's go first with the pricing plans. Now you have the base plans and pro plans and you can see the difference right here that landing page creation is in pro drag and drop most things are in pro version of course and you can see right here that if you want to go specific automations you should go with the pro and right now so they don't they don't offer free account only free trial so this is first disadvantage of eye contact on mailchimp you would have up to 2000 contacts completely for free so that's really great because if you want to test things out and let's say that you're going to have 5,000 subscribers, if you're going to have 5,000 subscribers in MailChimp, you would pay $80 in the standard version. That's the version I recommend personally, only because you're going to have like everything there. And you can also check essentials if you want to, and you're going to save 20 bucks, but it's like really up to you. But if you're going to have go with the eye contact, you can see it right here that with the 5,000 subscribers in the pro plan, you would pay $90 and $45 monthly up to 5,000 on base plan. But I would recommend going with the pro plan. And it's not happening a lot that a company uh, in different email marketing service or different email marketing software is much more expensive comparing to MailChimp. It's unusual, honestly. But it is what it is. So both of these plans are really expensive. I'll be damn honest. And why is that? Only because comparing to uh, SendinBlue, MailRite, MailJet and others, they are just expensive. So based on pricing, I don't recommend any of these to use. Only because I would go with MailRite or SendinBlue. To go further uh, on dashboard and how it feels like. So eye contact is simple. You click on email. Now you create a new message, you can also schedule it, you choose a template, they got plenty of templates that you can use, like I don't know, this one here, start editing, and voila, you simply add a text here, and video, and can really play around it as much as you want, right? So this is the first thing. On the other hand, MailChimp also, they got templates, not so many comparing to eye contact, but they have, but again, the drag and drop system is completely the same. When you go further on the customer journey and how it feels to use automations, you can see it right here that you can simply click plus, add a wait or add a delay. But in my opinion, MailChimp automation is one of the worst uh, out of all the email marketing softwares, only because comparing to others, it's too difficult. To master and now let's look on eye contact so i click on automation here create automation and now let's go you can go with the segmentation specific date customer field but as you can see it's not that the one thing there is missing in mailchimp and also in eye contact that you don't have actually templates here so that's something that personally bothers me is when you don't have templates on using automation that you need to set up everything by yourself so yeah, subscriber event, let's see, choose the audience, now click plus, timing as soon as possible, add condition to everyone, okay, and action. I mean, do you see, this is just, this is just bad. Let me show you Seninbu. Let me show you Seninbu, guys, and how it should look like, okay? The automation. I'm just going to give you the truth. Watch this. You need to watch this. When you go here to automation in Sending Blue, create a workflow. First thing that you see, beautiful, that you can choose a template for engagement, traffic, revenue, right? Amazing. Welcome message. Or, okay, let's go with the welcome message. On the right side, you can see clearly, okay, contact added to list, wait for two days, send email. You can also create by your own or create by this. Now it's going to directly create your own template workflow, template automation, but this is just bad. 
this whole structure of in eye contact is just bad and it's going to take a while because it actually need to set up the whole automation but then when it finishes it will be beautiful so i just personally wouldn't prefer using eye contact or mailchimp at all don't use them and when we go here to even reviews what other people think about it you're gonna see it by yourself and plenty of people are saying that they are not satisfied with the mailchimp Yeah, let's just create custom workflow so I can show you. It was taking a long time. Yeah, you just add an entry point. Look at this. Email activity, contact submit the form. Email activity, okay? Email marketing activity, okay. When this happens, you click plus here and you, you look at those options here. Look at those options comparing to eye contact and send in blue. Even to MailChimp. Like, why would you... <laughs> Don't use this. Don't. Bad. So, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video because it's just like honest review. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.